Hello everyone and welcome to Tipsy where we actually provide you with top tips to meet your specific need. So if you're new to this channel, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and updates whenever we create a new video or tutorial. So today we are actually going to be sharing with you a top number one strategy that you can actually use to find over 1.5 goals with FS tip betting app. So the first step you actually want to take is to make sure that you navigate your Play Store as you can see here. Just make sure to click and inside of your Play Store, just make sure that at the top search here, as you can see, just make sure to type FS tips app and click on search. Once you do that, you are actually going to see an app that actually looks like this. As you can see here, this is how it actually looks like from the inside. And you are going to see images like this. Once you are very sure that this is actually the app, then please make sure to go ahead to install the app successfully. And once the installation has been completed, what you want to do next is to make sure that you navigate the open button, as you can see here, and click on open. Once you do that, you are actually going to be taken to the inside of the app that actually looks like this from the front page. And since we are actually dealing with over 1.5 goal strategy, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to pick up over 1.5 goals or 2.5, but for which we are actually going to concentrate mostly on an over 1.5 goal strategy. What you want to do as the next step is to locate this three stripe as you can see here. Make sure to click on it and you are going to see this display. Once this has been done, make sure to come to this area that says predictions and click on prediction. Once you do that, you're actually going to see matches actually predicted for you from the inside of the app. The next step you actually want to do is to make sure that you change this prediction 1x2 to over to under over 2.5. And once you see this, make sure to click on under over 2.5 and it's going to change the display as you can see here. If you scroll down, you are going to notice that all the matches shown to you will actually be in the probability of under or over under 2.5 as you can see here and the odds being displayed to you on this side as you can see. Since we are actually concerned with over 1.5 or 2.5 strategy, of goals who actually want to depend on over only. So in this case, since we are dealing with over, what I want you to look at or as a line of art, which I actually want to draw in this case is to look at the odd range of between 1.10 and maximum 1.45 for over 2.5 goals for which from within we are actually going to find the best probability of an over 1.5 goals. In this case, we are actually going to concentrate only on the directions of the odd section, as you can see here, the odd, and look only for those odd value that vary from the range of 1.10 and maximum 1.45 in the case of over. In this case, you can see that here we have over here, but the point or the odd here is 2.10. We are going to avoid that. The next for over, you can see it is here. It is 2.05, which is already above the limit of 1.10 and maximum 1.45. So we are going to make sure we only look for those odd range, which if we screw down, we are actually going to see that the first probability is here. As you can see for over here, we have the odd range of 1.33, which is in the odd range limit of 1.10 to 1.45 as maximum. It's actually a match between Celtic playing with hat and here since it is already from the odd range of 1.33 between our out of line i'll click on the match directly to try to analyze it and see if here we are actually going to go for an over 1.5 goal or 2.5 goal as the best choice of pick so i'll click on the match directly and once i do that what will happen is i'm going to be taken to the inside of it where i can actually see a kind of reference that are actually here, as you can see. Celtic have an average of 80% of games with over 2.5 goals. In other words, they're actually telling you that the possibility of an over 2.5 goal for Celtic is actually 80%.
and you can see that of heart have an average of 60% of goals with over 2.5 as you can see based on reference. Now we already have it in mind and we already know that the possibility of goals here is very possible. But now we cannot make it out if we are going to take an over 1.5 or 2.5 goals in this case. So for that reason, we are actually going to go to this area that says full match statistics. I will click on full match statistics to make sure that I will go to actually see the insight and try to pick out the best choice. So I will click now on full match statistics. And once I do that, what will happen is I will be redirected to another page where I'm going to see more of these statistics as you can see it here from the inside. But here, what we are actually wanting to look at, I'm going to show you about two or three of the best places to actually look at when it concerns this. Now, the first step I actually want to take, if you see by default in this area, this that says stat, as you can see here, make sure that you come to this area that says filter by, as you can see here, and change this area that has actually been ticked as blue for the 10 last games that have been played. For Celtic, you can see it has actually been home, which is correct. And for Hearts, it is actually away. These two dots are actually correct for home and away. But what we have to change here as the only place is this area that have actually filtered last game by the 10 games that have actually been played. We have to change this to make sure that we display it to 5 instead of 10. So that we are only going to have the most recent 5 games that have been played previously. So what I would do is to make sure that I click on 5 to change the odd range or the, the last game's range played. I will click on 5 and you are going to see that it's going to change on 5. Once you do that, what you want to do as the next step is to come to this area, still under the main, as you can see, for the main start, just make sure to come to the main start area. Here in this area, you can see this is where we are actually going to start to make decisions if we are actually going to go for an over 1.5 or 2.5 goals. There are two things we have to look at when it concerns this area. The two areas are goals scored per game and goals considered per game. These goals scored per game and also goals conceded will actually give us a hint or an idea to know if the possibility of games or the possibility of these teams to score or to defend is actually very high or it is very very accurate or high or defensive here in this case if the goal scored per game for any team is between 1.50 and going upward then the possibility of goals for that team to actually score is possible but if it happens in the case where the teams are very defensive but of course the possibility of goals will be very very difficult so for teams which are very defensive we are going to draw an odd range or the line of art which we should look at when it concerns very defensive or offensive team. For teams which are very defensive, then the line of art range should be between 0 0.10 to 0 0.90, that's 0 0.90. These are teams that are defensive. And for teams which are very offensive, it is between at least from two going upward. In this case, you can see that the goals considered per game Concede means the probability of this team to actually conceive goals. In this case, you can see that both of these two teams are defensive because it is actually between the odd range of 0 0.20 for Celtic and 0 0.60 for Hart. But if it was between the line of odd range, which is at least from 1.50 and going upward, then of course we are going to know that they are not too defensive, but because they are between the line of limit of defensive defensiveness, which is between 1.10 to which is between 0 0.10 to 0 0.90, then they are really very defensive. In this case, if you look at the goal scored per game, you are going to see that based on the range, you can see that Celtic is very, very offensive because between the uh, odd limits of above two then we can know that the possibility of that team to score is also good if only its opponent is not defensive. In this case, we have Celtic having the goal scored rate of 4.20 as compared to its opponent of 1.20. In this case, Celtic, which is the home team, have more offense as compared 
to heart, which is actually the away team because Celtic has an offense of 4.2, while that of its opponent is 1.20. We start to look at offensive team when they are at least from 1.8 and 2 and going more upward. In other words, Hart is not very offensive or good at scoring because it is below 1.80, but sometimes we can consider 1.50. But in this case, we are actually wanting to look at the odd range of between at least 1.80 are going up to show that a team has a very good probability of scoring. In this case, we actually have Celtic as having more offense since it is above 2, which at this time is up to 4.20, while that of Hart is only 1.20. Since the away team has good defense, as you can see, 0.60, and that of the home is 0 0.20. In other words, the home team is more defensive as compared to the away team. In other words, the probability of both of these teams to actually score is very, very difficult, which means that the probability of Celtic to score here will be more possible as compared to the probability of the away team to actually score because the home team is more defensive as compared to the away team. In this case, we can actually look at the possibility of an over 1.5 goals or home team to win as the best choice to actually go for this pick. Because if we go for the possibility of an over 2.5 goal, it might be possible, but because the away team is also defensive, it might be very difficult for an over 2.5 goals to occur. Since the away team, it will be very difficult for the away team to score. We can actually look at possibility of over 2.5 or 3.5 goal as a very good possibility when both of these teams have good offense and they are not very defensive. In this case, since two of these teams are defensive, the possibility of the home team having more offense to score will be also be slim, which might also be good. But we are actually going to look at the only possibility of either the home team to win here or actually going for an over 1.5 goal as the next possibility. But going for an over 2.5 or 3.5 goal might be risky since both are actually very defensive. We can conclude this in the last area where we have to make sure that we go to this section that says over, under, goals. By looking at this area, you can see that for Celtic and Hart, the possibility of an over 1.5 goal here is 100% for Celtic and that of the away team is 80%. In other words, 1.5 goal to occur in this team in this match is the best pick. But if you go for an over 2.5 goal here, you are going to see that it is 20% for the away team and 100% for the home team, which means the possibility of an over 2.5 goal to occur in this match has started to become slim. In other words, to stay on a very safe side, an over 1.5 goal is just the best choice to pick for this match. As well as if you look from up here, based on the goal scored per game, Celtic has a very high offense of 4.2 as compared to its opponent of 1.20, which means that the possibility of Celtic to score in this match is very, very possible. In other words, we can actually also go for Celtic to win as the next possibility in this game, or you might want to give it a draw, uh, a draw, no bet for the home team or double chance for Celtic. But since the odd for double chance for Celtic might be very small, we we'll actually want to go for draw, no bet for the home team as the next possibility. So after that has been concluded, we have, we have actually seen that the possibility to go for an over 2.5 goal might be a little bit risky, but that of an over 1.5 is a very great pick to take for this match. After that has been concluded, what I want to do is to go next step behind to make sure that we finalize this by using an other game to pick out to see if we can apply this rule. There is another new rule which I actually want to show you. Like in this case here, we have an over for 1.44 as the odd for an over 2.5 is a match between Bayern Munich playing with PSG. What you want to do is to make sure that you click on the match directly. And once you do that, you are going to be displayed with this result as reference. You can see Bayern Munich has an average of 60% of games with over 2.5 goals. And that of PSG is 73.33 with an over 2.5 goals. In other words, they are already telling you from the start that an over 1.5 or 2.5 goal is a very big possibility to occur in this match. But now we are not going to end here. What we have to do is to make sure to go to full match statistics, click on it directly. And once you do that, you are going to be taken to a next page where we are still going to apply 
another technique. Here in this case, what we want to do, do not forget to make sure that in the filter by section, only change it from 10 to 5 by clicking on 5. And this is going to change to come to 5. And now we are going to move to the next step, which is actually the main statistics by checking at the goal scored per game and also the goal considered per game. You can see in the case of goal scored per game, you can see that both of these teams, Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain, have a very good possibility or probability of scoring since both of them have a goal scored per game of above 1.80 and 2 and even going upward. Because to know if a team is good at scoring is to look at the goal, cost, uh, the goal scored per game to make sure that it is at least from between 1.80 and going above. Since both of these teams have range of over 1.80 as the goal scored per game for that of Bayern Munich is 2.40 and that of Paris Saint-Germain is 3 then we already know already that is a good possibility of these teams to score as both team as well as we are going to also check on the considered goals per game for these two teams since two teams are very good in offense it means they are good in scoring we are going to apply a new technique here which you actually have to apply for the rest of the games when you see this particular range of art where two of the team are also very offensive or good at scoring with a probability of grading of above 1.80 as in this case of 2.40 in this case of 3 for bike for Paris Saint-Germain then of course make sure to also check at the goal concede per game to make sure that it is at least 1 and above 1 because if it is lesser, that is between 0 0.10 to 0 0.90, then they are defensive and that defense will not be very good, especially when it is between 0 0.10 to 0 0.50, then that team is very, very strong at defense. In this case, we are not going to consider the fact that goals might be possible here because the defense of these two teams are very, very high. But only make sure that you apply this technique only when two offensive teams or good teams a goal scoring team are not very very defensive in this case it should only the defense should be between the rate of between one and going upward in this case you can see that that for Bayern Munich is above one which is 1.20 and that of Paris Saint-Germain is also 1.20 in this case I'm going to look at the possibility of an over 1.5 goal as one of the best choice for this game as well as an over 2.5 goals but now in this case, what I want to do is to make sure that I will go to finalize this by knowing if this is true by going to the section that says over under goal by looking at the possibility of an over 1.5 or 2.5 goals to conclude finally. In this case for Bayern Munich, I have, you can see over 1.5 goal here for Paris Saint-Germain is 100% and that of Bayern Munich is also 100%. In, the, in this case, in other words, an over 1.5 goal to occur in this match is a very big accuracy and the possibility is very, very high. As well as an over 2.5 goal, which is also a possibility being the fact that Paris Saint-Germain has 100%, but that of Bayern Munich is 60%. If you actually want to stay on the set and be very sure of your pick, then an over 1.5, which is 100% and 100% for both sides, is very very accurate as an over 1.5 which 2.5 is also a big chance to occur since one of the team is a hundred percent and the other of the team is already above 50 percent so we can now also look at the possibility of an over 1.5 or 2.5 goals as the next possibility to actually occur in this game i will go again one step behind and see that we take a next game to analyze to finalize this by seeing that we are also going to make one pick here which also have this case here you can see an over with the odd of 1.40 which is the odd range limit of between 1.10 to 1.45 and this actually meets that need i will click on it directly to try to see to analyze in this case you are going to see that though it is the probability of 1.40 in the odd range limit i will try to click and analyze it and you are going to see that there's going to be a difference here based on the selection of pick okay now i'll click on it directly and i want to dive in directly okay so now i'm inside of it now you can see that based on the reference which is actually here we have yokohama have an average of 60 percent of games with 2.5 goals while its opponent is that of 46 percent you can see that for yokohama the possibility of it to score goals here is good but that of its opponent 
is not a very good possibility because it is already below 50 percent as you can see here if i scroll down and try to check on full match statistics by clicking on it directly i'm going to be taken to the next page which i will now make this analysis to make sure that i'm very correct in this case i'll filter this game by the last five by making sure that i click on five and that will be changed then i'll go directly to main statistics to check on the goal scored per game and the goals considered per game in this case for goal scored per game we have our odd range limit of to know that a team is good at offense is at least it should be from 1.80 and going above in this case we have the home team having 1.80 which meets our needs of between 1.80 and above 2 and going upward, while that of the away team for goals scored per game is 0 0.60. In other words, the away team is not good at scoring. For, for considered goals, I'm going to see that the home team has 0 0.80, which is a line of offense. It means that the home team is offensive, but not very, very offensive. Because for very offensive team, is between 0 0.10 to 0 0.50. But once it's already above 0 0.50 and start going to 60 and 80, then they are not very, very defensive. But that of the away team, you can see that it is 1.60, which is already above 0 0.50, going to 60 and going right to 1.60. In other words, the away team is not very defensive. Just by looking at this goal scored per game and goals considered per game, you can already see that the home team has a better offense as compared to the away team. And again, the away team is more is not good at defense. It means that for two things, the home team is more than the away team. They are more good in offense and they are more good at defense as compared to the away team. Just by looking at this, I can tell you that from the lookings based on this classification here, then of course, the home team might also go by taking the pick of making sure that the home team might actually win in this match or you can as well go for a double chance for the home team who draw no bet as the best pick based on these statistics but if we go down again and try to look from the area which is actually over or under you are going to see that for over 1.5 go it is 80 percent which is above 50 percent for both sides and 2.5 you can see that the possibility now start come to 20 percent and 40 percent we are not going to consider 2.5 because it is already below 50 for both sides which will be risky to go for an over 2.5 1.5 is the only possibility why because both of the side is 80 percent to 80 percent which is already above 50 60 and 70 as the best line of range to look for an over 1.5 always look at the range which is at least above 60 and 70 then 1.5 is a good possibility but for 2.5 it's also good to look at the range still between 60 70 and 80 but since they are below even going down to 50 then it is not good to consider in this case we already know that over 1.5 go could be a possibility but we don't know if it is yokohama or Jibilo who will actually score this goal but based on the up statistic which we have checked from up here, we are already seeing that the home team has more offense as compared to the away team and the away team is good at conceding. It means they concede a lot of goal. In other words, the possibility of the two goals to occur will actually be given by the home team. So that is why you can actually go for the possibility of actually either the home team to actually win in this match or a double chance for the home team or draw no bet for the home team as the best pick in this game. This is how you can use this app effectively to come out with an over 1.5 game goals as you can see. Already, this match already have been played. I was saying it without even seeing this area. You can see that this match has already been played and you can see that for full time, it is one is to zero. In other words, the possibility of the fact that goal occur in this match was the fact that only the home team might make this occurrence of goal to happen. In other words, if you were to take the home team to win, you can see that this match has already end successfully. If you were to take double chance for the home team, then it has still end successfully. And if you would have take draw no bet for the home team, then all the three possibility could have been true. So this is how you can use this app to come out with the best picks when it comes to concern and over 1.5 goal or 2.5 goal. Or when you actually go to the inside of the app, you are going to see a difference, which we are not going to see consider even the over 1.5, but we are going to see possibility of either the home or the away team to win based on the line of goal scored per game or goal concede, which in this case, we are going to see that only the home team will score here or the double chance for the home team or actually draw no bet for home team. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe.
and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and updates whenever we create a new video or tutorial and see you again in our next episode bye bye and now i know my heart is a ghost town